Canada has significantly strengthened NATO's maritime capabilities with the deployment of its CH-148 Cyclone helicopter aboard the HMCS St. John's, marking a substantial advancement in the Alliance's anti-submarine warfare operations in the Mediterranean. Far more than a conventional embarked air asset, the Cyclone has become a critical instrument in Canada's contribution to collective defense, reflecting both technological sophistication and strategic foresight. Its presence highlights Canada's commitment to supporting NATO's mission of maintaining security and stability in contested maritime regions, where undersea threats are increasingly sophisticated and unpredictable. By combining modern avionics, advanced sensor systems, and operational versatility, the Cyclone enables the Royal Canadian Navy to extend its operational reach and integrate seamlessly with multinational task groups, enhancing the overall effectiveness of NATO forces. The CH-148 Cyclone was designed to replace the aging CH-124 Sea King, a helicopter that had served the Canadian Navy since the 1960s but had become increasingly difficult to maintain. The Cyclone program, while plagued by delays, cost overruns, and evolving technical requirements, eventually reached operational status in 2018, representing a major step forward for Canadian naval aviation. Its development was driven by the need for a modern platform capable of operating in complex maritime environments and performing a wide range of missions. The aircraft is not only a replacement but a significant upgrade delivering capabilities that the Sea King could not match, particularly in the domains of anti-submarine warfare, maritime surveillance, and multi-mission operational flexibility. The Cyclone is engineered for extended maritime operations and features a suite of capabilities designed to optimize its performance at sea. Measuring 17.22 meters in length, or 14.78 meters when folded for storage aboard frigates, with a rotor span of 17.48 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 13,000 kilograms, the aircraft combines size with operational efficiency. Its height of 5.44 meters allows it to fit into shipboard hangars while maintaining a powerful flight profile capable of handling the challenging conditions of the North Atlantic and the Mediterranean. With a top speed of 287 km per hour and a range of 740 km, the Cyclone can operate far beyond the immediate vicinity of its host vessel, conducting missions that require endurance, precision, and reliability under both day and night conditions. The helicopter's mission systems represent its greatest strength. Equipped with a dipping sonar, advanced sonobuies, and the capability to carry lightweight torpedoes, the Cyclone is specifically tailored for anti-submarine warfare. Its sensors, including electro-optical and infrared systems, maritime radar, and electronic countermeasures, allow it to detect, track, and engage undersea threats while simultaneously contributing to surface surveillance. In practical terms, the Cyclone functions as both a scout and a strike platform, extending the tactical range of its host ship by hundreds of kilometers. Its ability to integrate with other NATO assets ensures that detection, tracking, and engagement of potential threats can be conducted with high efficiency, enhancing both situational awareness and operational response across the task group. Operational exercises have validated the cyclone's effectiveness in multinational environments. During NATO's dynamic mongoose exercises, which are among the Alliance's most demanding anti-submarine warfare drills, the Canadian helicopters demonstrated remarkable capability by coordinating closely with Allied submarines and surface vessels. Studies indicate that integrating the cyclone into task group operations increased submarine detection rates by approximately 30%, a significant improvement in an era where adversaries are increasingly deploying stealthy and long-range undersea platforms. Such performance not only underscores the aircraft's tactical value but also its contribution to the strategic objectives of NATO, ensuring that Allied forces maintain an edge in contested maritime theaters. The strategic environment in which the cyclone operates further amplifies its significance.
the standing NATO Maritime Group 2, to which the HMCS St. John's and its helicopter are assigned, has been an active maritime presence since the end of the Cold War. Originally established to address regional instability, SNMG-2 has evolved to address a range of threats, from counterterrorism and maritime security operations to high-end anti-submarine warfare. The deployment of Canadian helicopters within this group underscores Ottawa's dedication to the alliance and enhances the mobility, flexibility, and overall capability of NATO's naval forces in both the Mediterranean and North Atlantic. By participating in joint operations, Canadian crews train alongside European counterparts, ensuring interoperability in crisis scenarios and reinforcing the alliance's collective readiness. Canada's investment in the Cyclone program reflects more than a purely military calculation, it also carries a political dimension. By fielding a modern, technologically advanced helicopter fleet, Ottawa signals its commitment to NATO and demonstrates that it is capable of contributing substantively to multinational operations. The presence of the cyclone aboard HMCS St. John's ensures that Canadian frigates remain relevant and operationally effective within NATO task groups. This modernization effort strengthens Canada's position within the alliance while also projecting a message of solidarity and capability, emphasizing the country's role as a reliable and forward-looking partner in collective defense. In addition to its anti-submarine role, the cyclone enhances maritime domain awareness and search and rescue capabilities. Its sensors and communication systems allow for extensive surveillance of sea lanes, detection of surface vessels, and coordination of rescue operations. This multi-mission versatility makes it an indispensable tool for both peacetime and wartime operations. It allows commanders to respond rapidly to emerging threats, whether from illicit trafficking, piracy, or state-based submarine activity, reinforcing NATO's ability to maintain security and stability across critical maritime routes. The helicopter's operational impact is complemented by its integration into NATO exercises and real-world deployments. These engagements provide valuable experience for Canadian crews and demonstrate the platform's adaptability in multinational contexts. By operating alongside European and American forces, Canadian personnel gain critical knowledge of Allied procedures and tactics, ensuring seamless coordination during potential crises. This interoperability is a key component of NATO's effectiveness, and the cyclone serves as a tangible example of how national investments in modern technology can translate into collective operational strength. Ultimately, the CH-148 cyclone has become a cornerstone of Canadian naval air power. Its deployment aboard HMCS St. John's is more than a technical upgrade, it represents a strategic commitment to NATO, a tangible increase in maritime capability, and a modern symbol of Canadian defence policy. The aircraft's advanced sensors, operational range, and multi-role functionality make it a decisive asset in the Mediterranean and beyond. By extending the reach of Canadian frigates and enhancing Allied anti-submarine operations, the cyclone ensures that Canada can carry its share of responsibility in maintaining the security and stability of international waters. Its presence underscores the importance of modernized naval aviation in 21st century maritime strategy, and it highlights Canada's enduring commitment to NATO's collective defense mission. The CH-148 cyclone's significance extends beyond its immediate tactical utility. It represents a fusion of technological innovation, operational readiness, and strategic intent, demonstrating how modern naval platforms can reshape the maritime balance in contested regions. Through its advanced capabilities, proven performance in multinational exercises, and integration into NATO task groups, the cyclone exemplifies the evolution of naval aviation in the modern era. Canada's investment in this helicopter underscores the country's commitment to maintaining an effective and interoperable naval presence, ensuring that both national and allied interests are safeguarded in increasingly complex maritime environments. With the Black Horse now fully operational, 
Canada has positioned itself at the forefront of NATO's anti-submarine warfare efforts. The combination of technical sophistication, operational effectiveness, and strategic integration ensures that the cyclone will remain a central component of Canada's naval capability for decades to come. Its deployment sends a clear message to allies and adversaries alike. Canada is fully prepared to meet evolving maritime challenges, contribute meaningfully to collective security, and leverage cutting-edge technology to protect international waters and maintain freedom of navigation.